to Horse Gooseneck Murhow with seven foot short wall living quarters here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Nice trailer for the money. A um, little bit extra tall, so you have headroom in that upper bunk there. But uh, a little more narrow body trailer, seven wide trailer roughly. That'll let you see around the trail without needing big uh, extension mirrors or anything like that. Um, Murhow's have always been pretty well built. Uh, you know, we, we've uh, handled Murhow for a number of years, always had nice results from them. Uh, good engineering goes into them. The, uh, what I like about this, everybody, everybody's looking, you know, always seems to be looking for three horses, but a lot of times a little two horse is all a lot of people need. This is a great little weekend runaround trailer. You know, if it's just uh, you alone or if it's just a couple and you're just going to do some trail riding or you got a little event you're going to go to or something like that, perfect little trailer. Two horse uh, collapsible um, rear tack back here that can all fold down and, uh, you know, uh, fully collapse if you need to use this whole thing as cargo space. Single divider does have a, uh, a stud curtain on here. And where that's really nice is if you want to, uh, you know, just take one horse around. If you have one horse, you need a two horse trailer so you can put all your stuff up front here. And you see you do have a little sneak door so you can uh, pop between the bathroom and the horse area right there. Um, vent windows on the uh, butt side here and uh, drop down window on stall number two on the uh, head side. Good looking wheels on here too. I, uh, I expected steel wheels when I looked at this trailer. I, I was really surprised to see these nice aluminum like rally style wheels going on here. And this is prep for an RVQ outside grill like you see in a camper. That's neat stuff. Show you around the living quarter real quick. Small seven foot short wall living quarter but it has all the critical stuff you really need. You do have a sofa to flip down if you need extra sleeping extra storage. Now they did opt to go for a little bit smaller cabinets here, but big, big window. And your windows do have really nice uh, pleated shades instead of metal blinds. Extra outlets to keep stuff like your phone charged. And, uh, you know, really pretty rank and file, but in good shape. I haven't found anywhere where there's been like a water leak or anything like that. We do have air conditioner. We do have furnace on here. So, you know, this would be a good spring fall runaround trailer. I like those extra big windows up there on the gooseneck. Uh, a, a pretty common uh, kitchen setup here, but usually you don't get this kind of kitchen setup until you get to like a uh, little bit bigger, maybe an eight foot short wall, not much larger, but again, this is kind of a uh, 10 pounds of sugar and a five pound sack sort of trailer, but they put it together pretty nice. Everything works pretty well. The uh, the bat It does have a bathroom. Bathroom is a bit small, but again, seven foot short wall, you can't ask much more from it. So we do have a little bit of linen space behind the stool, as you see here, and there is a, a small but adequate shower. You know, if you're only going to spend a little weekend in this, this is a great little weekender trailer. I do notice too, one piece shower pan. So the entire shower enclosure is one piece. It's not seamed. That's going to be a big leak prevention source right there. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.